Oh, me. Bella, Danielle, and Heather. Hey. And this is B Rock. But on the trip first, we just had a repelling adventure. Uh, come on, focus. It's a little bright. You can see the view for sure. It's really beautiful up here. It's about uh, 110 feet, the highest point over here. Excellent place to go visit. Alright guys, so today we went to Bee Rock, uh, did some rappelling, and it was, a, it was a pretty good learning experience for everyone. Um, it just shows that even if you've done this 100 times, you know, Stuff can still go wrong. Stuff can still happen. You have to pay close attention to everything. You know, make sure all of your details are perfect. Luckily, no one was injured. You know, I got it all right. But uh, here's what happened. So, I get, you know, it's 110 feet about where we were repelling from. I got about 30 feet over this edge. And I'm belaying. I've got my rope hand, you know, my stopper hand behind me. I'm using a figure eight, you know, belay device. I'll show you in a second. Um, what happened exactly. So I was monitoring my descent, looking over the shoulder, not paying attention to where the figure eight was and the rope was. Um, I feel a snug, you know, a, a tug on my shirt. So I look over. I notice my shirt has been taken by the rope up through the figure eight. I did not have a knife on me. I did not have you know, an auto stopping mechanism above the belay device, above the, you know, above the figure eight. So, basically I was screwed. I had to get that out of there somehow. What did I do? I had to actually put a foot lock on the rope below me, rip my shirt completely off, take it off, and uh, then finish belaying all the way down with the shirt wrapped through the figure eight. Uh, I'll put up some pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Here's the shirt. So you all can see this. I had to rip. This is what got caught. It got sucked up into the belay device. There are burn marks. Where are those burn marks? From the rope. Right there burn marks so I had to rappel down without a shirt luckily I was able to rip the shirt alright you know it was just you know prepared to go rappelling was having a good time with people just did not pay attention for a split second and something went wrong so I'll walk you guys through it with an actual harness here in a second alright guys so I'm gonna walk you through my exact setup for the the rappelling system that we had going uh, for the top anchor around a, a really secure tree we had two separate full length sewn slings uh, girth hitched around the tree. Same length, two locking carabiners opposite and opposed, both locked. Opposite and opposed. Figure eight on a bite going through the carabiners with enough slack for a, uh, a stopper knot. Then I had my figure eight which comes back like this and then down that way we have a hundred and you know, 110 foot drop. Okay, so this is exactly what happened. When I'm repelling, I have my legs on the wall like this. There's the figure eight. You know, it feeds through just like that. I was looking backwards, leaning forward close to the wall. So my body looked like this. Don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm very, very close to this. My hand is actually back here. So my arm, as you can see, is really, really close to this rope that's sliding through like that. So my shirt gets caught. Here's the shirt. The shirt ended up going, getting pulled by the rope through here around me. 
hard it is with one hand. Sorry, guys. And back up through like this. That is what I'm looking at. That's my sleeve. I am, at this point, about 70 or 80 feet above the ground. And that is what I'm stuck with. I have no other gear. My loops are empty. I, you know, I was like, well, this sucks. So what did I have to do? Well, I basically had to rip the shirt off. First, I had to stop my descent. So I, I'll just take that out for now. I had to put a stopper knot, or a stopper loop around my foot, which is kind of hard to do. Basically, this was wrapped around my foot a few times with me stepping on it. So that stopped me, so I could free up both my hands. I had to rip the shirt off, literally pull the shirt over my entire body, and then re-grip this, let it go. The shirt actually never came out of figure eight, and I had to continue my descent shirtless with a shirt going through this with the rope just going across the shirt causing lots of friction. I was actually kind of worried. Um, I could smell it burning. I, there's actually burn marks on the shirt. So, pretty intense situation. Something I I felt like I handled pretty well. Um, you know, that's about as good as I could have done in that situation. I should have had a knife on me. I should have, you know, been paying attention to what was going on, first of all. That's the main point. You know, just, you know, have the awareness of mind to, you know, you know have that kind of thing not even be a possibility. So, that was my mistake. Um, yeah, what would you guys have done? I'm curious to know. Just post it in the comments. Um, let me know what you think of that whole anchor system and what you know what you think about it all. All right, thanks guys.